guess who didn't put her makeup on? <gasps> Dina. That's right, it's me. Whoops. We'll, we'll sit back. Hi, everybody. It's time to get our Stampin' Lips on. I need them extra special today because I just realized I didn't put my, mark my makeup on. Don't tell anybody. So hello, everyone. It is wonderful to see you. I hope you are off to a good day. Everyone say hi to Shelly. Shelly is here. Shelly is um, a very good friend and she is also on my team and she came to spend the day helping me today. I love it. I needed her help too, so that was really lovely. We had a wonderful lunch because Shelly just turned the big five. -0. Um, <laughs> I told her she acts like she's 25, so it's cool. Yay. <laughs> um, and I will tell you, Mother Nature is just messing with our little lives because I was supposed to go celebrate with her Saturday night back in Cedar Falls, Waterloo, and we got... I don't know how much snow we actually got. I don't know. It looks like between four and six inches out there. And then um, she's here today, but we just got a notification that there's freezing drizzle coming. And so she's going to leave early so that she doesn't drive home in that because that is no fun. So I'm really sad. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. It was a good birthday. I could tell from the pictures. <laughs> We had a nice little lunch together, and hope oh, my kids are coming in to say hi. They know it's her birthday. So, ooh, hello from yucky, snowy St. Louis. I have to admit, I like the snow. Don't hate me. I actually love snow, and I think that it is. If it's going to be winter, there may as well be snow there. I'm just saying. So anyway. I hope. Sorry. Hi. Hi. What? Carl got dumped today. So, my sweet little Carl got his heart broken today. His girlfriend. His girlfriend broke up with him today. So, um, he seemed kind of sad. I just found this out a few minutes ago, so... Um, anyway, so if you see him, don't mention it. <laughs> he gets mad when I tell you guys too much stuff. But really, I know you guys like knowing this stuff. Because you like Carl, and he's a sweet kid, for the most part. When I don't strangle him. There are days. Say hi, Ella. Hola. Como esta? I don't I know. I German. <laughs> Talk not, German. Not anymore. Oh, hello. Joy says hi. Look, there's Kelly. <gasps> hi, Kelly. That was my ear. It Ever is no longer. Anderson. Hi. <laughs> Sunny in Oregon. Oh, I'm jealous. Sunny in Oregon. Isn't that like a... a don't ask me. I don't Do know. not ask me. <laughs> uh, what's the word? Northern. Oxymoron. Thank you. That's it. <laughs> Oxymoron. Hi, Kelly McGully. Ella survived finals last week. Just barely. Just barely. <laughs> Root canal and girl problems. I know, right? <laughs> this kid can't catch a break. <laughs> so, Ooh, when's Kelly coming? Later this week. <gasps> Ooh. Yay! Yay! Ooh, I'm going to see if Sam wanted to go skiing this weekend. Okay, bye bye. Okay, well, you're great. Um, okay, so, anyway, oxymoron. Thank you. Um, sometimes I feel like an oxymoron. Sunny in Washington State, it's dreary here. What's the deal? You guys are always dreary, and it's dreary here. Hmm, I'm not liking it. All right, so I've got a lot to do today, so I'm going to get on it. Kelly says hi. Shelly. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I've got a lot to share with you today, especially stamping. Um, 
And, ooh, I have prizes. What else do I have? I think that's about it. So there's a few fun things coming up. So today is the 14th. So tomorrow is the last day to sign up for Creativity To Go kits. I will, let's see, I wonder if I've sent an email out about that. So I'll check that. Um, our Creativity To Go kit is the Meant To Be bundle, which we're gonna make a card from the framelits today. Um, do I have that out? Maybe I don't. It is a really cute set, and our cards are very all occasion y. Even though it's a card or a set with hearts, our cards will be lots of different occasions, and the framelits that come with this are pretty awesome. So, there's a lot of fun things you can do with this set. And then um, we will also have um, a new class. I haven't posted it on my blog, but I would need to. It is an all occasion, well, it's an occasions catalog sampler class. So what it is is 16 cards featuring four stamp sets, and one of them you can um, do either one. Ooh, you tried to sign up and it says closed. That's not good. I will take a look at that. Ooh. Um, when I'm done with this, I'll put links in the... Um, in the little description of this video along with my um, dimensions on the projects that I use and then turn the light on in the corner she shouldn't work in the dark yeah I know it was a little brighter earlier wasn't it yeah, but then it gotten dark um, yeah well well yeah so you can turn the light switch on if you want it's right there no, I'm good. okay I'm just punching out butterflies <laughs> Um, okay, so then meant to be is coming up. Then my all my occasions card class, like I said, it's 16 cards, and this is a class I did with my downline. Um, and it's a really great way to get a bunch of different cards made from the new occasions catalog. So if you're a demonstrator, it's really great. If you are a customer, I will tell you, you don't have to have all those stamp sets. And I'll tell you what the stamp sets are here in just a second. You don't need all of them to do the class because um, everything is ready to go and you can substitute what, what you don't have. If there were two sets that I would pick to have, I would suggest the Butterfly Gala, but everybody seems to be liking that set pretty well, um, as well as the cake set, which is called Piece of Cake. You can do, do both of the cards for that, um, for that, those projects without the stamp set, but it kind of helps if you have it. The rest of them, you don't need the stamps. You can substitute pretty much anything. So the four stamp sets are uh, Piece of Cake, Butterfly Gala, um, Bloom by Bloom, or Incredible Like You. You can use either one of those two stamp sets. And if you don't have those, any flower set will pretty much do the trick. And then the final set is Meant to Be, which is the one I just showed you. So that's like um, even more inspiration. They showcase a bunch of um, accessories, ribbons, papers, embellishments. So there are lots of fun. So if you are interested in that, I'll be posting that on my blog probably later today. We'll see what we get done. And then also, um, I have, oh, also my, uh, friend, no, Forever Lovely class came out on Friday and those projects are pretty awesome too. So catch all of those. Oh, and last but not least, product shares. Um, we're work actually, that's one of the things we're working on today. Product shares are going out this week. And if you ordered one, um, you will, yours will go out this week. If you haven't ordered one, I actually need a couple more people to sign up so you can still register for them. Um, if you can't find the registration, just drop me an email. Okay, are you ready? We have, to, we have stamps to give away. I'm trying to think. I know I had a funny story to tell you, but I can't remember what it was after my sweet Carl came home with his broken heart. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around here so that... And you guys are going to laugh at the stamps I'm giving away this week because they're like wishful thinking stamp sets, I think. 
I'm going to grab my little sheet that tells you what to do if you are a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, close your eyes for a sec. Get my camera set up. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Move over my stuff. Are you laughing at my workspace? <laughs> I am. It's always a mess. Okay, so here we go. We'll just move this out of the way. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that 16 card class comes with some goodie bag stuff. So you're, it's a, it's a good thing. Okay, so if you are my prize patrol winners, and I've got four this time, um, you have two weeks to email me with your mailing address. Even if you think I have your mailing address, please email me. It just makes it so much easier for me to send out your product, your prize faster because I don't have to look it up and it really helps me save time. Okay, so my first prize patrol is I have two of the flowering desert stamp sets to give away. And I think it's kind of funny because uh, that was actually the most requested project that people wanted me to show today. So I have not even touched my new stamp set of this. So we'll see what we can put together today. It is on my list um, to make a project with this today, but full disclosure, I haven't even tried mine yet. But you can't go wrong. There's a stamp that says you're so awesome. Hello, that's awesome. Okay, so my two winners are, first of all, Emma Welker. Hey, will one of you take Sophie out? Uh, oh, hi, hi, did you tell him about uh, yeah. Seister? No, I haven't. Oh, can I explain? <laughs> Yes, Carl is here, and he wants to tell you all about what he did this weekend. Okay, so on Saturday, I had an honors orchestra called SISTA, S Southeast Iowa String Teachers Association, and I got third chair, which meant I qualified for an ISTA Iowa State Orchestra with Iowa String Teachers Association, so I made technically an all-state, so I'm in an all-state orchestra. I'm really yes. happy. Yes. Anna broke up with me today, and I'm sad. <laughs> it's the highs and the lows of being 12. We got two he, months down. Two months, sweetie. That's longer than most relationships through high school. Good for you. Yeah. I know. You can, you'll be able to mingle again in the future. <laughs> can I go over to Bobby's? To Bobby? Who's Bobby? Oh, he lives in our neighborhood. Oh. Okay. He's a really good friend of mine. Oh, this is the first I've heard of him. Oh, really? Oh, he made, what the, wait, what the, G. Oh, great. Way, to, way go. to go. Okay. It's not what the G. Way <laughs> to go. Look it. Go, Carl, go. Way to go. <laughs> not thought... what the G. <laughs> what the G. You guys are killing me. By you guys, I mean my son, Carl. Aw, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, okay. okay. Um. Yes, you may see Bobby, but would you take Sophie out first, please? Yeah, okay. Thank you. I want to see the comments, Okay, that's great. So Carl wants to read the comments. I'm going to keep going. Okay, so Emma Welker, congratulations. You have a flowering desert. And so this is wishful thinking because it is so not a flowering desert here in Iowa right now. And then our next winner is Kaylee Rabavowski. And I am so sorry if I said that wrong, but I think that might be right. No, Twyla, it's a guy. His <laughs> real name is Robert. Oh. Bobby. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's funny. All right, so Flowering Desert and um, goes to Emma Welker and Kaylee Rabovowski. Rabovowski. Yeah, I'm that's the final answer. Okay, and then um, please email me. So congratulations, lady, ladies. Pardon me. Uh, no, he doesn't play cello. He plays viola, which is like a a little deeper. It's between a violin and a viol and a cello in sound. It's a little deeper than a violin. So, and just a little bit bigger. All right. There are those two. Our next two winners. Uh, again, wishful thinking. Get beach happy. Are you guys just dying that these are the sets I picked? I don't, I just, I don't know. I, this is what I had ordered. So there you go. All right. So our first winner is Vonda Deason. Congratulations, Vonda. And our second winner is Joyce Harding. So all uh, Joyce lives in Iowa, if I'm not mistaken. So I think we could all use a little beachy, happy sunshine. 
and then we've got the flowering desert. So we've got the beach and the desert here. I think <laughs> that's pretty funny. Okay, so make sure you claim your prize. In order to, to get your prize, you need to email me at this email address with your mailing address so that I can send it to you. Okay, ladies? So congratulations to you. Um, I will do more drawings next week. As a reminder, to get entered in the drawing, all you need to do is share my video as well uh, here on Facebook or YouTube, and then you can also get entered by placing an order with me. Um, I have to tell you, I set a pretty lofty goal last week of getting 200 shares, and we fell just a bit short of that. We had about 275 or 278. I can't remember what the final total was. Or, I'm sorry, 175 or 178. It was close, but not quite. So I will throw that out there. I have a well-said bundle. Let me just show you. That's these two stamp sets plus, let me grab them, these two pages worth of framelits. So this is like a 70 some dollar bundle in the occasions catalog that I will give away when I hit 200 shares. So last week we had um, between Facebook and YouTube and I got it up on YouTube right away. I was pretty proud of myself. Uh, between the two of those, we had like 178, I think was the grand total. So I will still, I still have my bundle. It's ready to go. So when we hit 200, I'm going to give it away from um, the people that share. So make sure you share. That would be awesome. I love reaching goals, guys. Did you know that I'm kind of goal oriented? <laughs> Does that surprise you? <laughs> Shelly's like, what? She's doing the Macaulay Culkin, <laughs> the Macaulay Culkin hands on hands on your um, cheeks, Home Alone. Okay, so ladies, um, I wanted to start today with a really simple card, um, and that is in stark contrast to the card I posted on my blog. Did you guys see that? Um, what did I do? Oh, it's right here. Let me grab it. So I posted a video tutorial for this card on my blog today, which if I can just say is kind of pretty, right? I really like this card. Um, it is pretty fancy and pretty, pretty, but it's actually pretty easy to make. So I showed this on my blog and um, this morning and I have a video for it. So it's, but it's, it's a putzier card. It takes a while to make. Now, let me, in stark contrast, show you um, some really simple, a really simple card is our first card. It's kind of like a warm-up exercise, I guess. Just getting going. And um, we're going to take and just make a really simple card with a note card. I did this, didn't I do this last week? Yes, I did, with my butterflies. Do you guys remember that? Now, that one had um, a little bit of coloring on it, so it was a little more involved. Well, this one's going to be really simple. So we're going to take my favorite color which is Coastal Cabana, of course. And I'm just going to take this stamp. This is from the Forever Lovely stamp set. Um, because my class came out last week, I've been playing around with this uh, stamp set quite a bit. So I'm just going to stamp this down. And this is one of those kind of really neat images where it's sort of diffused. I think that was the word I couldn't think of during my live yesterday or last week. It's a diffused look. So um, I'm just going to add that and then I'm going to take and I've been kind of on this gray and color kick lately. And actually I need to stamp one more of these first so bear with me. Oh you know what? I No I messed up. I was going to do something else. Maybe I'll do another one because these are so quick to make. Um, and then it the sentiment in that set says, wishing you a lovely day. So I'm going to stamp that in basic gray. So this is a little darker. Um, we're going to stamp that right over the edge. Now, this is not actually what I plan to do. So hold on. <laughs> but these cards are so easy to do. And I would really challenge you guys to get a package of note cards and envelopes because they're so easy to work with and they make such cute quick easy cards and um, so now I'm going to show you what I actually meant to do which is to stamp one of these down here and one of these up here okay so pretty 
we'll add a couple of our leaves like so and I've got a couple there and maybe well we'll leave it like that and then ooh, there's this little like branchy leaf thing so I'm gonna stamp one of those right there and maybe one of them right there just to kind of decorate up things a little bit and then we'll add our sentiment in basic gray so we have smoky slate coastal cabana and basic gray right over the top okay that's easy now I do you see that little smudgy mark that I made that of course bugs me I'm pretty easy going about most things but those smudges kind of get me so I'm gonna take my coastal cabana marker and spritz it now to do that I'm gonna move some things so I don't get into trouble um, but I'm going to put my marker in the cap. Now I can see this is a virgin marker. It has never been spritzed before. Oh, um, and so I'm going to take and just go like this. I'm going to just push hard. Watch. And there are some spritzes. Okay. Now I knew this was going to be kind of juicy. So I got really good spritzes out of here, but now you don't notice that mark down there so much now, do you? I love that. Black or gray would also be nice to spritz on this, but I thought since my smudgy was that color, I would use that color marker. So there we go. So I'm in, uh, I've been getting a lot of comments from people saying I don't use the foam mat under my photopolymer stamps. That's not actually a rule, people. It's a, maybe a suggestion if you have trouble with your photopolymer stamps. Um, I do sometimes use it, but I'm I'm okay. I think this is coming out all right. So I like... I like the look of it, um, so I don't use them. It's not a rule. It's not a hard and fast rule anyway. Now let me show you one more thing. We can decorate our coordinating envelope. So to do that, I'm, I'm gonna protect my work surface a little bit here, and then I have an envelope on the flap. And then what I'm gonna do is just stamp this flower a few times on the envelope. Okay, um, I think too that the the photopolymer with the um, with the foam mat is more of a troubleshooting thing, and I'm not like I said, I'm not having trouble right now, so I think it's okay. Um, I always think it's kind of funny. I posted a video with some tips on how to keep your big shot plates from warping. I have never experienced so much love and hate over that. I actually think I lost a customer over that video because of of how she reacted to my suggestions. Um, and, you know, everything I share with you is just tips based on my experience. Uh, I am not actually the and I'll be all of stamping, although sometimes I like to think I am. It's really interesting. People can get passionate about certain things. Okay, so there we go. Um, that is the envelope. And then, of course, what did I do with the card? There was, here's a card. I don't know if that's the one I just stamped or not. It's my sample. Oh, here. There's the one I stamped. Haha, <laughs> kidding. But there we go. So a matching envelope and card. How pretty is that? It's so simple. We get so caught up in um, what layers and embellishments and things that we can put on cards that sometimes we forget. You can make a really nice card with just some very simple stamping layers. So I just want to make that um, known. So I think... Um, I think that it's just one of those things too... I've seen some of the comments you're saying about my tips. Again, these are just things that have worked for me. I, I, well, I believe I'm a pretty good stamper. And since I get paid for it, I believe I'm a professional. <laughs> um, if it doesn't work for you, just don't use it. Move on. That's all. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I just think that's kind of funny. It's interesting to me what people get charged up about, I guess. Okay. Did you guys know Valentine's Day is coming up? 
It's true. I actually don't care for Valentine's Day all that much. Um, I, I really thought that having a husband would mean that I would have Valentine's Day covered for life. I don't think that's actually true. <laughs> I think Valentine's Day is for people who are dating. <laughs> Could that be more cynical? Probably not. But having said that, I do like to give Valentine's. And I don't think Valentine's Day has to be for lovers either. I think it can be for friends. It is certainly for kids. So I've got a really, really sweet Valentine to share with you. Um, and this would definitely fall in the category of friends or kids. And it features the Hey Love stamp set, which I think is adorable. It's got all these cute little critters on here. And um, I actually, I might show you one other quick thing with this. I saw somebody do this on our demonstrator Facebook page. But we're going to use this cute little alligator crocodile image, depending on where you're from. This is either an alligator or a crocodile. I do have a following in um, Australia, so maybe it's going to be a crocodile today. <laughs> um, but look at how stinking cute these all these images are just so cute. Like, look at how cute they are. By the way, what do you suppose that is? Is that like a groundhog or a hamster or a chinchilla? What is this thing? Does anybody know? I'm not sure. <laughs> so anyway, um, but here we go. We're gonna make we're gonna make a really cute card with this. Do you know what this thing is? The one at the top. Yeah, next to the bird. No. I don't know what it is either. Let me know if you guys know. Okay, so I'm gonna make a, a what I think is a pretty dang cute card with this. A pardon? They're saying beaver. A beaver. Yeah, but a beaver has a big flat tail. Prairie dog? See, I kind of thought prairie dog. I don't know. A hedgehog. A hamster. It's a beaver. I don't think it's a beaver. A beaver has a big flat tail. I have a, de I have a biology degree to pack that up. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm laughing because <laughs> you guys have the best comments. Um, okay, I'm getting a bunch of hedgehogs. Somebody said something about their husband had the same thing going. Groundhog. Evidently, my husband thinks the same about as you about Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. A chipmunk. Ooh. That's a new one. Okay. A gopher. Oh, I think a gopher has a big tail, too. I know this because my husband went to the University of Minnesota, who's... Um, who are the golden gophers. And I know this because can I just tell you a really sad and pathetic story? This is back when Valentine's Day was fun. Um, when we were dating, <laughs> he gave me a stuffed golden gopher and he used to spray his cologne in it. <laughs> so when I would go back to college, I could still smell his cologne in this stupid stuffed animal, which I believe I do have somewhere. Oh, no, I don't know if I do or not. Anyway, I loved that thing. It was so ugly. Oh, my gosh. But anyway... <laughs> It was a different time. <laughs> All right. Now, I die cut one of the hearts from the, I believe they're called the Be Mine Heart Framelit Set. This coordinates with the Meant to Be stamp set. Okay. So this is one of those hearts. Super cute. And, um, and we're going to stamp this. I think I have definitely created like a totally big um, like pole on my my live now what is that animal we're gonna use the crocodile okay so for this one we're gonna stamp him on here and the idea is my heart is gonna go right here and then the crocodile will go right in the middle all right but I don't want to stamp it through the heart just in case I hit his tail like on part of the heart so we'll just stamp it right there okay Goldie is cute. <laughs> I know. It's really funny. My cousin uh, is at the U of M right now working on his master's in education. I think it's funny. But yeah, that was back in, in our dating days. I think he worked a little harder back then. I'm just saying. Most men do, though. <laughs> um, that isn't to say that he doesn't do lots of sweet things, but he's just he just doesn't have that romantic vibe in him anymore. And it was funny. I was talking to Ella about dating, um, and 
she's kind of <laughs> poor thing is learning that sometimes if you want to have a fun date, you have to plan it. <laughs> okay. So actually, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to color this before we glue it. I'm going to take my Stampin' Blends and I've got my um, Granny Apple Green. I'm also going to take my pumpkin or no. Uh, oh my gosh. I did not just say pumpkin. Pineapple Punch. And also my um, lovely lipstick blends to color this. So I'm going to start by coloring the easy part. I'm going to take the light, lovely lipstick and do his cute little hat or beanie thing. <laughs> and then I'm going to take the darker ones and do the hearts on here. Like so. Okay, so that's already cute. I mean, anytime you have a beanie with hearts on it, you can't go wrong, right? Then I'm going to do the little inside of his tummy. Gosh, could I be any more like a mom? His tummy. And we'll do a little bit of the darker pineapple punch at the top and the bottom. And then we'll do the lighter in between. Like so. Blending a little. Um, that's not the critical blending. Now we'll do the rest of the blending, which is this. Oh my gosh. Groundhog, prairie dog. It's a dog of some kind, right? That's really funny. I mean, I might have to pose that question on my Facebook page and see what people come up with. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going on the little spiny things on his back with the dark. And then I'm also going to kind of color along the edges of his mouth and jaw, face, whatnot. And then down the side. And these parts will all be a little darker. And then a little bit on his tail. And then everything else I'm going to fill in with my lighter marker. Now notice I'm going just barely to the edge because this is going to... Uh, bleed out just a little bit and so I'm leaving just a tiny bit of tiny bit of room so that it doesn't bleed out too far and make me upset okay so then I like to blend and you know what I'm gonna flip over to this side because then I don't worry about pushing a little harder to get some nice blending happening Now, depending on how you feel about it, you could probably put yellow teeth on this guy because I'm guessing he doesn't really brush a lot. Just saying. Oh my gosh, did I tell you guys how I had a dentist appointment last week? I told the dentist that I hadn't been there in like three years, but it turns out, based on a Facebook memory, that it was more like five. <laughs> because the last time I had... A dentist appointment was when I was present a presenter at leadership and that's been like five years oops anyway um, I had a good checkup by the way it's all good okay so there is my cute little crocodile oh so cute and oh that is a great suggestion Anna said these animals would be great for a kid's birthday card and I absolutely agree they totally would be. Okay, now I also am going to take the little sentiment that comes in here and it says, hey, Valentine. There's a couple sentiments that kind of fit exactly the um, image. So like the one that says I'm ape over you probably is going to work best with the ape. I'm just saying. Or the, oh, you otter be my Valentine. Oh, yeah, there is an otter. I was like, oh, it's an otter. No, that is not an otter. Oh, my gosh, Dina, shame on you. You should know better. Seriously. Okay, so then I'm going to stamp this kind of in the middle. Hey, Valentine. Oh, poor Carl. He broke up with his little friend before Valentine's Day. So tough being 12. Will he ever love again? Actually, I kind of think he might have said he loved Anna the other day, and I thought that was a little weird. I was like, did you just say what I think you said? I don't know. He's like, no. I think he did, though. Yeah. 
So you know what? That's okay. He's young. He will love again. Oh, Sandy, you do get ripped off. Your anniversary is on the 12th? Well, I guess if your husband misses both of those, he's really in the doghouse, right? <laughs> your anniversary and Valentine's? But yeah, I always felt bad for people who um, had birthdays so close to Christmas because that was never fair. My one, of, one of my friends growing up, her birthday was January 3rd. I always felt bad for her. But she was really sweet. She posted a thing on her birthday uh, with a picture of her parents that said something about, thank you for never making it feel like my birthday was so close to the holidays. Aww. I thought that was cute. Okay, so I'm going to take this cute heart and my super awesome sponge trick. I keep thinking of The Office when Ryan hooks up with Kelly the day before Valentine's Day. <laughs> I think that's funny, too. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of dab the glue on here. And then it is a really easy way to adhere my heart to my card. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. And you know what? If you wanted to make this a window, you could do that pretty easily, cutting this out um, so it goes through. So that would be fun. Oh, my gosh. Barbara, I saw your name pop up, and it made me realize I have not shown cards that came to my mailbox this week. So I'll do that at the end because I did get some really cute cards. And I still need to make my um, Christmas card video, which I will do. Um, I've just been trying to catch up this past week. And... Oh, I was a little more behind than I would care to admit to. But I'm getting close to being caught up, so that's a good feeling. All right, now I'm going to take, um, we have some ribbon in the catalog. It comes in a two-pack. There's this beautiful, uh, lovely lipstick ribbon, as well as a skinny ribbon that is flirty flamingo colored. So, ooh, it's the end of my roll. So I'm just going to tie a bow with this and add the bow. And this stuff ties awesome. It ties really nice and flat so the post office won't be crabby about your super cute Valentine card with the crocodile on it, um, much less that unknown four-legged creature that we still aren't 100% sure. I'm kind of thinking, did we say hedgehog? Did we Have we kind of decided on an animal yet? I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck my little bow right here onto my card and look at how cute that is. So I think this would be so much fun for um, lots of little kids on your list. I think my, I think this might be going to my Carl. I think he would like this one. And yes, Angie, postage is going up in a couple of weeks. Do you guys want to know how many stamps I bought so far? I don't know if I'll buy more or not. Um, I think I have purchased approximately $1,000 worth of stamps. <laughs> and... Um, I do send a lot of cards. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but when I bought them, I had, you know, like, this is, you know, 10 rolls of stamps, so that's 500 bucks, right? And I'm like, do you have something to put these in? And so she gives me a priority envelope, and we seal it. And I put it in my purse, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I have $500 basically in cash in my purse, and I felt very uneasy about it. And then I, so I've, like I said, I've bought about a thousand dollars worth of stamps and I just have them on my desk in a little drawer and I'm thinking, man, someone could so steal postage from me. <laughs> yeah, they probably wouldn't know where to look in this office. Anyway, and then it just makes me think, oh, that's just scary. Like, oh, anyway, there you go. Okay. So that's my first card, my first Valentine of the season. All right, next, oh, uh, one of the other requests I had was for the little Happy Tales stamp set. And this is such a cute stamp set. Um, it's a dog set, so yay. And what do you guys think? Do you like this dog set? It's, or what, do you like this dog? Is this like a general dog? I look at this and see my dog in it, so that's nice. Sophie, my sweet little Sophie. Um, so there's some really sweet sentiments in here. I love the so sorry, sorry for your lost, or loss, pardon me. 
Um, but it's just a really cute set for your dog lover type friends. And I've got a sweet card for you. Now, one of the people on my team, Andrea, Andy, we like lovingly refer to her as Andy. She just got a dog. It's a Border Collie. Mm -hmm. I'm so bad with dog names. I like know my dog and that's about it. I know my dog and my sister's dog, but that's because my sister's dog always <clears throat> leaves her presence known at my home. Anywho, um, anyway, Andy just got a dog and it's, it's like black and white. So I'm thinking, I don't know if she's on here or not. Sometimes she watches from work, but we don't talk about that because it's a safe place here at the Creativity Cave. Anyway, her dog is spotted. It's kind of blotchy spots, right? It's not like polka dotty spots. So is that what these things are for? What is, what do these spots do? How do these work? So the big set of spots yeah. make it really spotty. And then there's the little three things that yeah. the eye and the tail and the butt. Oh, the eye and the tail and the butt. I'm not seeing how this fits, but maybe it's smaller on this image so they will fit. Hold on. Hold on. Let's give it a try on our background here. Okay, so we're, by the way, totally stamping off out of bounds but then you can't really do black because then it's going to black out its eyes I used brown like dark brown oh yeah look at that what well, looks like her dog except I think it's the opposite her dog is more black with white spots but her the eyeball is gone that's weird okay but we're going to we're going to push through and make this happen. What if we did gray? Do you think that would look weird? Mm -mm. No. Okay. You know what's really nice is having somebody here who <laughs> well, no, who can react to my questions without the lag time. There's a little bit of lag in Facebook, so I don't when I ask a question that usually takes a few seconds for me to see the answers come up. So that just kind of is cracking me up. Yes. All right. You could split the dots too close to sides. Oh. Okay. Sounds complicated. Stamp surgery. That's true. You know, I'm all for stamp surgery. Okay, so I've stamped my dog on some white cardstock. And then I'm going to stamp the spots with a little gray. Lots of dogs have a patch over there. I know, but it's like weird. Leave me to be the one who doesn't freak out about much of anything, but yet is all upset about this dog situation. And I'm not. Like, I like my dog, but I don't really like other people's dogs. <laughs> no, seriously. I like dogs. <laughs> okay. But I can't use crumb cake because her dog's not crumb cake colored. And she would know the difference. Okay, so I'm cut. I'm punching my punch a couple times because this is a virgin punch. I've never used it um, with some scrap paper. Sometimes there's some oil in the punch, although this one doesn't seem to have some. Okay, now I'm going to take and punch out this little dog. Look at this. It's so cute. By the way, there's a cat stamp set in the new catalog as well, and we've had a cat punch for a while now, but now there's a stamp set that goes with it. Look at how flippin' cute that is. Oh my gosh, it is pretty cute, and I like that you can see his eye. So this works for me, I'm happy. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to think of, I wish the set actually had a congratulations, because she just got this new dog. Okay, so I've got a Whisper White card base. This is thick cardstock and then I think it's going to say a best friend leaves a paw print on your heart so we're going to stamp that um, on here because it's just so stinking cute and I'm actually going to stamp that in pink so I'm using blushing bride and I'll show you here in a sec but I had several requests to do this stamp set as well so here we go and it just so happens that I have the perfect occasion for this. And then there's a little heart in the stamp set. So I guess we could stamp this too. 
Oops. I keep opening the stamp set, but I already pulled out this. Um, so there we go. That's cute. Okay. Uh, now, by the way, I was really surprised. This is a cat person that got this dog, so I was a little surprised when I found out about it. Now, I have gone ahead and die cut a rectangle framelit with my um, my new stitched rectangle stamp set. And then I have a piece of, um, so this is powder pink, and then this is blushing bride. And I'm going to stamp a few hearts on the background in blushing bride keeping in mind that I'm going to cover up a bunch of this because of that rectangle. So I'm not going over the whole thing. And then I'm going to put this right here. Yeah, that looks good. One more right there. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is take and pop him up. I'm trying to think Oh, I need a congratulations. Let's see. I'm trying to think of where I have a congratulations. Is there one? There's everything in there. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, maybe I'll put friends forever on there because that actually works. I'm going to do that, I think, in black. There we go. Friends forever. Now we're going to pop up this cute little puppy. His name is Walt, which I think is so cute. She also has a turtle named Bruce. <laughs> she said they hadn't met as of yet. <laughs> So I wonder how they'll get along. I still haven't named my Roomba yet. Um, I had a lot of good suggestions and none of them were quite right. I asked my family and they were like naming Lord of the Rings names and I said no! No Lord of the Rings names. They seemed a little disappointed in that. Oh, <laughs> What was that? Momoa. Momoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay no lord of the rings and no hot guys i'm pretty sure that there's not going to be a hot guy in my um in my kitchen sweeping i'm just saying there were a lot of name suggestions though that did crack me up like ruby I like Hazel for your Roomba, but I'm probably dating myself. You see Amy's friends forever? Oh, yeah. That is a good idea. Okay. So, I'm going to add a little bow. Because isn't everything better with a bow? Gosh, I wonder if I could add a really tiny bow to put on him. Like right there. She would like that. I know Rosie was the Jetsons maid. That's true. I'm still looking for the Roomba that like does stairs. Like, could you make that happen? My husband was at the Consumer Electronics show in Vegas last week for work. Talk about kid in a candy store. I was a little surprised he came home, to be honest. <laughs> um, they... Uh, about the consumer electronics, not Vegas. Let's just be clear. My, <laughs> I think Vegas is completely lost on my husband. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. That's pretty cute. Okay, so there's my, there's my card. Anyway, he said there were lots of Roomba type things there. But he also went on, he, he drove in an autonomous car in Vegas which was pretty cool. Um, here is a card I received in a swap using the stamp set. This is 
from Robin Scherzer. So I got this card and I thought this was pretty cute too. But there's my version of it. I wanted something cute and pink. Now, um, I should mention that Walt is a boy, despite the fact that I put a pink bow on him. Um, it coordinated with the card. <laughs> That's my final story. I'm sticking to it. But anyway, I'll send this to my friend Andy for her sweet new dog. Okay, next up. Oh, um, I also had a request uh, for... Um, I've had some requests for some things that I just haven't had a chance to play around with yet. But I had a request for the stamp set... Um, Dear Doily, and I love the set. I, I suspect there will be a class coming with this at some point. But I really like the stamp set, so I wanted to show... Are you going to go? Okay. Love you. Mm, love you, too. Drive safe. Let me know when you get home. Okay. We'll there may or may not be lip gloss in your hair, I'm just saying. All this stuff goes? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, so this is all for Diane. Can Thank I you. Of course you can. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, you're... <laughs> you can interrupt. It's okay. Um... All except the ribbon you said? No, all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is not. Okay, just, just that stuff. Yeah. Thank you so much, my dear. Please drive safe. See you next week. Thank you. Oh, I can't wait. That's right. You're coming back. Yay. I'm so happy. Um, I will see you, and thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. And happy birthday. I'm sorry. I have cake and everything. Enjoy the cake. Yeah, yeah I'm sure my kids will muscle through. Yeah. I don't think they'll go to waste. All right, my dear. I'll see you soon. Okay, dear Doily, I really like the set. It's so Dina with the geometric stuff. And then they added the super cute um, flower thing, which we're going to have fun with this. But I have a really cute card that I created with this that I wanted to share with you. Um, it features a really cool color combination that I was kind of all proud of myself for coming up with. Uh, it's sort of based on a color combination I've used many times in the past, which... Um, is, uh, let's see, Pool Party, I'll pull the colors, So Saffron, uh, Rich Razzleberry, and Pear Pizzazz. So this is kind of a cool color combination that I've done in the past, and I really like it. Well, this time I combined it with Gray Granite, and I loved the results, okay? So we're going to put this card together, and I've Actually, this is one of those obnoxious cards because it features quite a few things in it. Um, but I really like the look of it. And I think it's kind of fun. So I'm going to fold my gray granite card base. And then I've got a three and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of Whisper White. I'm going to take this and stamp the smaller, like I guess this is actually the medium sized doily on here. And then... Um, I'm going to take and stamp these kind of going down the edge in gray granite because you can't fit, I don't think you can fit all four like just in a row. So there we go. That looks pretty good. Close that. Oh no, we need it for a minute longer. Okay, I'm going to use that well said bundle. And let me show you how this works. So the well said has all those words that go with it. And, um, I'm going to take the you or the make me smile and then I die cut the word you out of it and we're going to use that. Okay, so hold on. Now, I will just tell you well said is it is a spendy bundle, but it's celebration so you can get free stuff. And it is going to be like the workhorse of your stamp set collection because there are so many things you can do and it covers just about every every occasion you could need a card for. All right, so I'm going to put a little strip of cardstock across here, and I'll just stamp. Oh, this is on my block crooked. So if we put it on the block straight, there's a good chance we'll get it straight on our strip here. Okay, so make me smile. And you know what? Could it be more crooked? I don't think so. There we go. That was better. So make me smile. <laughs> We're going to make it say, you make me smile, so it doesn't sound so bossy. Nobody likes bossy cards. All right. Uh, I'm going to pop this bit up. A couple of dimensionals on here. And then we'll trim it. And if you're thinking this card is a little boring right now, you're right. Don't worry. We're not done yet. 
there is plenty more to put on here that's going to impress you, hopefully. Either that or I'm building it up too much, but I really like the card, so I hope you do too. Okay, so I'll snip those little excess bits off. All right, now I'm going to take the little punch. Now this is from the four, um, the four little punch pack that's in the new um, in the new catalog. What is the name of it? I don't know. It goes with the bloom by bloom, but it's a cute little punch pack. So I'm going to punch each of the flowers out of each of the, or stamp, punch, bleh, bleh. I'm going to punch each color of cardstock in my color combination with the flower punch. Okay. And then we're going to take that and I've got my little mat that y'all want me to use with my stamps. I'm going to use it with my punches. So I'm going to put each one of these on here. And this is a little technique that you can do with just about anything. So I'm going to take my pick your tool and I'm going to smoosh the center um, to just make it a little bit more dimensional like that. So my punch isn't flat. It's got a little bit of curve to it. Um, I like this because it's not super pointy so it it actually does a good job and then a glue dot will stick to this pretty easily which is nice so then i'm going to put this in the center of these little things and let's see what order do i want i think like this okay so i've got pool party so saffron Pear Pizzazz and Rich Razzleberry. And then again, the gray is gray granite, which is such a pretty color. All right, now I'm going to take and add some uh, rhinestones. So I've got my rhinestones here. And I'll take my tool and I'm just going to put these in the center of each one of the flowers. Now when I send this card through the mail what I would recommend is putting a quarter sheet of cardstock four and a quarter by five and a half on top of this so it will be protected in your envelope because rhinestones can actually kind of scratch through an envelope in the mail. That's just sort of what happens. Okay, so how cool is that? Now let's get our card base. Ooh, what did we do with it? Ha, ah, I found it. Okay, now I have to tell you guys, this is funny. I So I made this particular card right here for a swap that I participated in with some other demonstrators. We always make uh, cards with the same, like we make a bunch of the same cards and then everybody sends a bunch of the same cards to a hostess. She swaps them all out and then returns us back a bunch of different cards in return, which I love. And this was one of the cards I made. Anyway, um, so I have to show you what happened to my sample when I'm done here because I did the worst possible thing. I got ink on it at the very end and I was so mad. So I'm kind of excited because now I have like an unscathed card. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to use our glue technique once more to adhere this U. Oops, things are flying. Okay, so I just need a little bit of adhesive because I die cut the word U out of gray granite cardstock, as I mentioned earlier. And I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive on here so that it will stick to this. You make me smile. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? I love this card. Now, of course, you could switch this up and do all kinds of different color combinations. This would also be really fun with black and white and then bright, happy colors on the inside or even pastel colors. Uh, but I think it's a great card and I love the sentiment. You make me smile is so nice. You can also switch this up and do like a happy birthday or all kinds of different things. So a lot of different options for this one. I'll show you. This is my card that I originally made and there's that ink that got on there and I was 
just mad, 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 mad. And I knew this was not going to get erased with my little sand eraser. So um, I'm happy to have a nice, beautiful one. So we'll photograph this one <laughs> and post it on our blog. Now I do have, let's see, we're going to make, um, I promised a card with, where's my stamp set? The, the desert, flowering desert. Oh boy. Now, when I get a new stamp set like this and I don't know what to do, often times I turn to my catalog for inspiration. And guess what? I don't see my catalog right by here. I think I had it. And I, oh no, wait. I know where mine might be. Oh yes. Here it is. So let's take a look in the catalog if I can remember where it is even. Now, I don't know about you, but this is so totally and completely on trend, this um, cactus stamp set. I've been in stores, and actually Shelly, who was just here, she just left, we, she and I were talking about that, that this stamp, or this concept is everywhere in stores, in home decor, in stationery, in like accessory items, all kinds of stuff. So it's all over the place. So I really wasn't sure what to do with this. So I thought I'd take a look at, um, at my catalog to get a little inspiration. And that helps. First of all, I don't live in the desert <laughs> at all. In fact, I live where it is wet. It is moist and wet. So, um, I like, I like these, these pretty colors, first of all, and I, I think we'll be able to figure something out. All right, so I do like the big cactus. It's kind of fun. But I also like how you take the different pieces and build a cactus. That's kind of fun too. So maybe we'll do a little bit of, a little bit of each. I don't know. I do like this one though. It says you're so awesome. And it's got my favorite colors. Let's see what we can do. Maybe maybe well we're going to start with that one. Um, I see some people are asking for manly cards. I promise you those manly cards are coming. Uh, just give me a little time. Manly cards take a little more effort on my part, just like they do for you, because you guys are always asking for them. Um, and I just haven't had a... Ch Again, I'm still trying to catch up from my <laughs> unprecedented November, or December, pardon me. But uh, we will. there will be plenty of man cards coming down the pipe because um, I know, sorry, I'm just grabbing some cardstock here, because uh, I know that you want them, and we've got a bunch of new masculine stamp sets. Oops, this is not what I want. Oh, for heaven's sakes. There we go. Gosh, I kept grabbing, like, watercolor paper, and I did not want that. All right, you know what this stamp set needs and they don't have is a sun. Hmm. I don't know why they don't at, like talk to me before they design every single stamp set. Wait till they work on my new stamp set. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be a while though. All right, so I'm going to start with Old Olive. That is the color of a cactus to me is old olive. What do I know? Now I really like the idea of it being a bright card. And aren't there like flowers? Is there a flower thing on here? I guess that could kind of be a flower. I think we're going to add a flower. Because to me, aren't there like, isn't a cactus where there's a big hot pink flower on there? Well, there's going to be on my cactus, I'll tell you that. Okay, so we're going to get there. Um, hmm. Then there'll be like littler cactuses. Cacti, perhaps, is what they're called. Do you guys like listening to me figure this out out loud? Oh, lordy. Okay, now this isn't necessarily going to be true to life, but it's going to be fun. So there we go. I'm going to take some shaded spruce 
do a little of this. I've kind of got the green thing going on. I know cactuses are probably a little more brown. I'm just basing that on my knowledge of the heat in the desert <laughs> and the, let's say, dryness. But maybe our cactus is from the rainy season. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like how I'm like working this out? Oh, I know what we could do. We could punch. Do you like how that just came to me? Oh, we're punching this for sure. All right, I just need to grab a piece of cardstock. Hold on. I've got a little Melon Mambo car cardstock here. I wonder if I could stamp that on there. No, it's not going to do anything good. But, ooh, I know what I could do. Make it dimensional. And that is kind of fold this in half and there we go. So I think a cactus flower needs a little dimension. So we'll just fold that in half and stick it right on there. There we go. Kind of making it bow down to my will. Oh, I like that. Okay. So there we go. What else do we need? We need something else on here. I just feel like there's more to this. Um, it's not really grass, but cactuses are kind of like not in the grass, right? I'm feeling a little like something needs to be happening on the floor here. Um, hmm. What do you guys think? Ooh, the cactuses are green right now because they've gotten sand or they've gotten rain. I know someone says sand on the ground, but they're I don't know what they hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so that flower, by the way, was the punch from the same set of punches that I used on the earlier card. Just so you know. See, I'm like looking at the cards here and like there's no ground on any of these. I know you guys are saying sand, but I don't know. Ooh, I know. Ho, ho, ho. Um, I am pulling out my Timeless Textures stamp set to the rescue for shizzle. Okay. Sorry, I get goofy when I get excited. Uh, all right, so on this, we're going to use a little crumb cake. Uh, don't you think this is like perfect and don't you like my Minnesotan accent okay so we're gonna stamp that right there oh everything's better I'm feeling better don't you guys feel better I already feel better <gasps> a vulture <laughs> that's funny okay so that was timeless texture let me pull that stamp, stamp set out that's been a very popular set so I'm guessing many of you probably have it. Although, my gosh, what did I just do with it? I had it in my hand a second ago, and it's gone. Oh, timeless texture. So um, even that almost could be the ground. But I used this piece, which is actually probably technically wood grain. Um, but there you go. Okay, so that is my... That is my card and I'm sticking to it. Now I want to stamp a sentiment on here and you know I'm going to use the You're So Awesome. I think we're going to stamp it in black to just really punch it up on our card. Uh, oh, here's my black stamp set. You know, it, we're getting to the end of my live so everything's a mess. <laughs> that's just how, that's how we roll. You're so awesome. Ooh, I think that would be a good sentiment for my team recognition cards. You're so awesome. I love it. Okay. So this would also be really easy to make a bunch of these cards up because despite the fact that it's taking me kind of a long time to do this, is this piece big enough? Might be. Oh, perfect. Um, We're going to add it. 
course, I'm going to triple punch it, triple banner punch it, that is. Okay. So you're so awesome. And I'm going to put this on a piece of cardstock. I think we need a, a layer of old olive. Oh, for the love. I don't have a piece of old olive here. One second. Bear with me. Sorry, this is what happens when you're not 100% committed to your card. You have to cut cardstock as you go. So give me one second as I cut this really quick. Um, I'm hoping this is the right side of cardstock. Phew, it is. Okay. So we've got You're So Awesome, which of course we're going to pop up. I mean, we want to make a big deal of the awesomeness, right? On here. Like so. Oh, I do love this. Oh, this set is growing on me. Get it? Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to put this adhesive down and then we'll pop this whole layer up onto our card I think you know what else would be well never mind we'll get this on get this on get this on Oh my gosh, that's really pretty fun and cute. And actually, it was quite easy. Um, I wonder, though. I wonder if there's any ink left on this. I'm just going to stamp that once more. Oh, yeah, I like that. Um, ooh, somebody just asked me in a message, so I can't. What is the name of the word set I used on the last card? That was well said. Okay, so there we go. I kind of like filling it in just a touch more. So oh, I like it. You're so awesome. I think that's a fun card with my little thing there. We could even um, put a rhinestone in the center of that flower. Let me show you what I mean. Um, if I take and just kind of stick a rhinestone kind of peeking half in half out that sounds so dirty but there I kind of like that too just adds a little just a teeny little touch of bling right there kind of fun this Midwest girl made a kind of cute Southwest card huh all right so there's that card and then I do I actually want to make one more card so it's my stamp show. You can, I can make another card if I want to. So this morning I was, I mentioned I did a watercolor um, project and I loved this. And um, I love watercolor technique. It's one of my favorite techniques. And so I wanted to do a little bit of more watercoloring today because, well, the mood struck, you know. All right. Oh, I had a full aqua painter because I kind of used up my other one. Um, so what I wanted to do is, well, first of all, give me one sec. I gotta like clear off <laughs> these stamps because they're like all over the place. I have these little trays that I use. They're so handy. They're actually um, refrigerator trays. I think I got them at the container store, but I bet you can find them other places. All right, so I've got, yeah, that's most of my stamps that I've been using. Okay, I had to take a sip of my Diet Coke, you know, re-energize. Um, and then I'm going to use some bright, happy colors. 
So let me put away a few of these ink pads. Because we want to bring out the bright, happy colors. So I'm going to use, these are the two I used this morning, along with a little bit of Granny Apple Green. But what we need to add to it is an awesome color, such as oh, the wonderful Coastal Cabana. You know, my fave. Okay. Now, to create this card, what I want to do is, well, first of all, we're going to use the um, butterfly stamp set because that is the best. How many sets of blocks do I have? Um, you know, I have a really ob an obnoxious amount, Leslie. Woo! Sorry, I just bumped my camera. My apologies. Um, I have a lot of of blocks because I used to do a lot of classes so I don't know how many I have but it's a lot like I bet I have 25 uh, B's and C's this is a B block and a C is just a little bigger um, but that's because of my running my classes I wouldn't have that many normally um, but I'll tell you it's nice having extra blocks because I don't like I loved, you know, the one thing I loved about wood blocks were that all your stamps were always mounted. And clear blocks, you have to constantly mount and remount. So I would recommend having some extra blocks, you know, when you can, um, when you can afford to add those. I used to for a long time as a demonstrator. When they first came out, I didn't have any money to, well, I wanted to spend my money on stamps, not on blocks. So Whenever I was the host of a workshop, I would add blocks in with my hostess benefits. And that helped get me there. Okay, I really do have a mess, but that's fine. It's just kind of how it ha how it goes in my world. Okay, so I want to do a watercolor uh, background. So what I was kind of having fun with this morning, if you caught my video, is I put some water down and then I was just adding color. So we're gonna kind of do that today. Um, how do I store my stamps now? Do I still use the Stampin' Up! holder? If you're talking about ink pads, um, I do not. I used to, but I broke down and bought my first ink pad holder from Stampin' Storage. Um, I was sick of them kind of not fitting very well. Okay, so look at that. I'm just adding some, some color on here, and you can see it's wet, so the color's spreading. The other thing that I love is having a little rag to clean out my brush with. Um, this way your background paper isn't covered in watercolor. Okay, so now we'll take this color. Do I prefer blocks over the Stamparatus? You know, um, I love the Stamparatus, but I actually am too lazy to use it a lot of the time. I've always historically been uh, pretty good at um, lining things up. The Stamparatus, of course, is really helpful, but I'm actually a little bit on the lazy side as far as using it is concerned. I love using it for certain techniques, um, but generally I prefer using blocks because I like being able to, to reposition things and the Stamparatus is a little trickier with that. Um, that's just my opinion. That's not for everybody. Um, if you're just starting out, honestly, a Stamparatus is a great option because it's basically like all the blocks you ever need is all in one. Okay. What's up, sweetie? Uh, just a quick question. What's your plan for dinner? Do you not have one yet? I do have one. It's spaghetti. Okay. Okie dokie. Tonight. Oh, you do? Well, yeah, that's. Oh, super. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Okay, Janie's asking since I see you put the color label on the inside, how do you mark the outside? So, Janie, our new stamp pads come with labels for the outside with the name on it, and then also. A label for the inside so you can see it when you're stamping. How awesome is that? Um, they also come in a multitude of um, languages so if 
you don't want to use English, you don't have to. <laughs> okay, so look at this fun background. Now here's where the fun really gets going. We're gonna bring the heat tool in. And we're gonna kind of push this color around and then we're gonna add a little bit more water. So, oh, I pushed it off the side, that's no good. Dang it. All right, so we're gonna get a little crazy here. First of all, I need some more color. By the way, you can also use your reinkers for this, and that works really well. Um, someone asked if this is watercolor paper. Oh, yes. Um, I generally don't watercolor without watercolor paper. It doesn't work. Okay, now what I want to do now is take and experiment a little bit by dropping, you can see I cleaned my brush off, cleaned it off, and I'm going to squeeze it to get some color out, or some water out, pardon me, and then I'm going to mess with the water. You can see it will move around and create some cool effects on here. I'm also being a little bit careful because I don't want to mix, like, the, these two colors don't look very good together. So I want to be careful where the mixing happens. And here I'm getting a little ambidextrous. I am heat tooling with my left hand and I am so not a lefty. Okay, but now I've got a little color down here, so let's mess with this. And you can see, like, things happen. It's kind of fun with this water coming out. And you can get some kind of cool backgrounds going. And when that water dries, it leaves, like, water rings behind, literally. And it's really kind of fun. Do you see those darker lines forming? So this is really fun to do. You can get this with a spritzer a little bit, but I kind of like the uneven drips um, of the brush. Now I'm playing with fire just a little bit here because this is kind of a scary place. It helps if you have like three hands, not gonna lie. There we go. But again, I'm tr I don't want it, this aqua to mix with my hot pink because I don't think it'll look very nice. But I'm happy to push it through the green because it will look just fine. But isn't that kind of fun? And you can do this, you know, as much or as little as you want. We'll do one more up here and call it good. See, sometimes it blows off your sheet. I like it best when it stays. Okay, so there we go. I really want to make sure all this is dry before we go on to our next step. Because after all, I'm really af or what I'm after is a wow card. Okay. So we've got kind of all that fun stuff happening on here. So let me go through the colors really quick for you. They are Melon Mambo. This all kind of came together. This is um, Mango Melody that mixed with the melon to kind of create a corally color. This is Granny Apple Green. And then this is, of course, uh, Coastal Cabana. So I used four colors, but when they mix, you can see you get lots of, of colors happening. Okay, now here's where things get awesome. Um, first of all, I'm gonna close these ink pads up really quick. Now, um, I have to tell you that hands down, my favorite set in the new catalog is Butterfly Gala. There will be an online class for this. It will either be, it'll probably be my creativity to go kit, um, but it will be definitely on the set. I love everything about it. I love that there's butterflies. I love that there's a punch. I love the design of them. I love especially the sentiments in the set. It is all good stuff. So 
what I'm going to do is start by stamping this on here. And you know what? To be honest, this is where the Stamparatus is actually a good idea. And here's why. Because this is watercolor paper, um, it's a little more textured than... Um, it's a little more textured than uh, regular cardstock. And so what I want to do is stamp this on here and get a really good impression in black ink. Okay, so I'm going to pick that up on my Stamparatus. And I'm going to ink this up like I mean it. Um, can you show us a craft room tour? <laughs> yeah, not right now. It is a disaster. But I know that has actually been on my list of things to do since I moved. And it's been almost five months. Yeah. Uh, yes, I will. But it just won't be today. Okay, so I'm getting a good image. Oh, look, of course, that stamped perfectly without any additional help. All right. And then I want to... Um... I want to re you know I should have repositioned my cardstock instead of that maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just put this back down and then I'll reposition my cardstock so it works. That'll work. <laughs> See, I like being able to pick up um, pick up my stamp and put it wherever I want. <laughs> And that's a little trickier with your Stamparatus, but we can still make it work. Okay, that looks good. You know what? I'm going to ink it up one more time and stamp it one more time just so I get a nice, really good, solid impression. Because that's what I want. Oh, that's even better. Okay, and then we're going to move that around a little bit more. Um, that's not going to quite work. Mm, that's not going to work either. You know what? I'm going to punch these and then we'll stamp some more. Okay. Oh, but now here's like the $20 million question. What do I do with my punch? Let me see here. So I'm laughing. Oh, hold on. It's right over here. I'm laughing because my assistant is punching some butterflies for me right now, so I gave her my punch so I don't have mine. Okay. Look at how awesome this is. Now, I will tell you that on watercolor paper, it's a little trickier to punch because of the thickness of the cardstock. So if you struggle with... Um, with like which it was it called arthritis this might be a little tricky for you you can still do it it's just going to be a little trickier okay so i'm going to trim like so on here try not to cut too much of my pretty watercolor stuff off i'm gonna need to though dang it so that my punch will fit Okay, well, we're going to stamp. Ooh, look at that one. <gasps> so I'm going to trim that off so I can punch some more. Okay, and look, by the way. This... Okay, so let's see if I can get, well, I can only get um, a little one out of there. That's okay. So there's a little one and maybe another little one. And you can see it's nice to have this grid paper for catching any um, ink that's left over from a situation just like this. Okay, so there's that. And what I really want is one more big one. That's what she said. Oh, pretty.
pretty please. I think that'll work. So tight. Let's see. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's going to work. Okay. So here we go. Did it fit? Yes, it did. I'm so happy. Okay. So we'll punch all these and then let's gonna throw this into a card quick. So first of all, I love, 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 love the set. It's just so awesome. There's lots of different types of butterflies in here, which is really fun. And they're really easy to punch as far as like placement and whatnot. Okay, and I like that you can do two at once because that's always awesome. Okay, and the punch, by the way, also coordinates with some of the celebration items. So there's printed paper that it coordinates with as well as some wood elements. And I do not know where that little butterfly just went. So it'll be interesting to see if we can find all the butterflies after all that. But, oh, isn't that just so pretty? makes me want to just watercolor some more of these up okay so we've got some really pretty butterflies so let's put these into a fun card so let me pull all of them I think that's just about all of them there might be one more that kind of went flying off into the distance oh here was one more oh there we go okay so uh I'm gonna start with a whisper white card base but I'm gonna add to it a black layer of cardstock that's four by five and a quarter. And then I am gonna put these bright, beautiful butterflies on here. And like, how fun is that? Oh, okay. So, um, first of all, I'm going to add my sentiment. And so the stamp set has a lot of really great sentiments in it. You've been on my mind, a little note, the good things in life are better with you. Thank you very much, or so very much. And hello, beautiful. I love that. So let's see which sentiment should we use. You know, I think I'm going to go with, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. The good things in life are better with you. I like that. Let's see. Let's just see if this will fit on my paper that I've got down here. I don't know if this is going to be big enough or not. I keep all these little scraps for this very purpose. Oh, gosh darn it. If this isn't going to fit. <sighs> okay. So, um... Yes, you can watercolor and shimmer white, still not as great as watercolor paper. That's true. It it definitely is. Someone's saying I need to stamp the watercolor bodies. Yes. All right. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is stamp this sentiment in black and add it. Like that. Okay. And we're also going to punch the triple banner. Oh, I'm going long today. Goodness gracious. But we've done a bunch of cards. It doesn't seem like you guys are complaining either. So I'm just going to keep going. All right. Now I'm going to place this on here. And then I'm going to kind of build my card around my sentiment. Just so that it fits nicely. All right. And of course, we're going to pop that up. I mean, that's a given, right? I'm running out of dimensionals. Don't worry. I've got a spare package in my drawer, handy, ready to go. I kind of freak out if I don't have a good 10 packages of these because I do go through a ton of them. But remember, this is my full-time job. Oh, I want to stamp that a little higher, sorry, or place this up just a little higher because I want to get one of those big uh, butterflies down at the bottom. There we go. That looks good. So we'll trim 
this off. Oh, and that couldn't be more crooked now, could it? Is that better? Yes. Okay. And I'll place that down onto our card. Oh, so fun. Okay. So then I'm just going to kind of bend the wings. Now, someone said I need to stamp the bodies. I'm not going to, so there. You can, of course, stamp the bodies, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, I think it's okay to not stamp them completely at this point. And part of the reason is, A, I don't want to wreck what I've created um, because these aren't, I can't just like repunch these butterflies with this beautiful watercoloring on there if I mess it up in a in a jiffy so I'm just going to leave it as is and I think that's fine um it's my card and I can do it if I want to <laughs> but yes you can the stamp set does come with the two bodies which you can definitely add okay so I'm going to do my big ones first and then I'm going to sprinkle in my little ones and notice I'm going a little bit off of my card base and that's fine because I've got the space for it and mm, that didn't pick up the dot but now the question is where to place very tough business positioning these in the optimal places put one over here and then one final over here now we're not done because we're going to take this card from pretty cool to amazing in just a second here and that will be done I do like this that will be done by adding just a little bit of shimmer. I need to put that down just a touch. There we go. Okay, um, to do that, I'm going to take my, let's see, what did I do with it? I'm almost out of shimmer, actually. I've got just a little bit left of my champagne mist shimmer paint. I gotta make up some more. So this is shimmer paint with some um, rubbing alcohol in it, okay? And I'm going to spritz this on. So here we go. And oh, look at that. So happy. Now I do feel like this needs just a little something else. And I think that's going to come in the form of some black shimmer ribbon. I'm going to add a little bow of black shimmer ribbon on here because it just needs a little something to finish this baby off. Now, if you have not purchased this bundle, you just should. I'm just saying. It is my fave. It's like the best thing there is. Low battery. Pfft. There's plenty of battery. So I'm going to add my bow right there. And I think that kind of completes my card just a little bit more. So really cute. Now I could also add a couple of things. I could add some um, sequins. I could add some rhinestones to this. But I'm, I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I really like the look of it so far. Of course, there's so many things. Um, what is the ratio of shimmer paint to alcohol? So Charlotte, uh, loosely translated, I would say... Um, I would say a pea sized, I'm just like trying to measure this in my head. I would say a quarter of an inch or a pea sized blob of shimmer paint to this filled with rubbing alcohol. You got to, don't go all the way to the top. You got to leave some room for the spritzer 
mechanism in there to fit in so it doesn't go up over the top. But that's roughly how much. Now, if you don't like it, you can dilute it. If you if it's not enough, you can add more. I mean, that's just roughly. Um, so yeah. So there you go. Okay. So let's look at everything we created today. My gosh, besides the mess. There was a lot. We definitely created a mess though. <laughs> All right, so we did a little stamp riffing with our desert bloom. We did a doily card. We did a fur friends. This was a swap card I received from Robin Scherzer. We did a sweet little Valentine. And we also did a quick and easy wishing you a lovely day. So that was pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Jeez. That's pretty good. All right. I also have some cards to share with you that I have received this last week. So let me share with those with you quickly. Um, I, the first couple cards I got from my downline, we had a downline meeting uh, or a team meeting last week. And so I got this card. This was from um, one of my downline, Jennifer, who sent me this to congratulate me for my million dollars. Same with this one. This was uh, from... Uh, Lori. Yes. Whew. <laughs> Lori. And this is really cool. She die cut the new um, butterflies and did brush show on, on the die cut, which I thought was very clever. This one is from Alexandra. She is also on my team and it was a sweet little card. Um, then this is a card I received in the mail. And actually, I think this is from, yeah, Joyce. And I know she was on here. I'm not sure if she still is. But anyway, so fun. This is the um, Petal Palette stamp set. And of course, love the colors. Look at this beautiful card. This features that stamp set I was just showing you. This is from another um, one of my team members, Deb. So that was very sweet. And I love the coordinating envelope. Also from someone on my team, this is from Jill. Oh, bless her heart. She's so sweet. So she sent me another congratulations card. This was a thank you card from Barbara. And actually I saw her name flash uh, on here. This is the new Hummingbird stamp set. Isn't this beautiful? And she colored them beautifully with Stampin' Blends. Oh, I love it. I haven't played with this stamp set yet, but I definitely need to. And then here's a very nice sympathy card. This one came from Barbara as well. So bless her heart. She had a thank you card um, for me and then a sympathy card. So I really appreciate you thinking of me. So thank you so much. Let me see. I think, did I have any more? Let me double check. Nope, that was everything. Um, so thank you so much for sharing. Also, um, another quick reminder. Oh, well, and also I have a special. So here we go. So first of all, um, I think you might have heard uh, I have a challenge for you. If I can get 200 shares, that's on YouTube or and Facebook combined, um, I will be doing a drawing for the people who have shared my video for the Well Said Bundle. Okay, that's like a 70, oops, $74 value. Roughly. I can't remember. That's exactly approximately. Um, I can't remember exactly how much it is. So you have until next week to do that. We fell just a little short this time, but I'm, I'm confident we can still pull it out. Um, also, if you are shopping with me, I would appreciate it. I have a free gift this week. Okay, and I got to show it to you. Actually, I meant to use it today and I forgot. Um, the fr Oh, wait, where did they go? I had them on my desk so I could show you. Here we are. Um, I was going to put this on my Valentine card. So these are the heart epoxy droplets, which I love. But let me show you something really quick that makes these like, like sort of awesome to completely awesome. You can color them with your Stampin' Blends. Oh! And you can make them whatever color you want, which is awesome. And then they dry really quickly, which is also awesome. So that is, um, you'll get these heart epoxy shapes um, for free 
with a $50 or more purchase from my online store. Um, and I have a host code, and I'm not even going to lie when I tell you I don't know what it is off the top of my head. I usually have it on a post-it note, but I haven't done that yet. Um, so please use the host code, uh, and I'll post that on our video here when I'm done. Um, don't forget to sign up for Creativity To Go kits. Okay, and the way Creativity Cave To Go kits, they're $35. They're $25 if you're on my team. They um, include um, pre-cut cardstock plus... Uh, some goodies to complete projects and this month for January it is the meant to be bundle that we're focused on so if you need that bundle um, you can add this to your order just drop me an email um, that you need to register for by January 15 1 15 which is tomorrow. So make sure you get registered for that. Also, um, yes, if you don't order, if you don't enter the host code, that's okay. Don't worry. Um, also, there is um, a couple product share spots left. D U C T product shares. And then finally, I'm going to have the occasions catalog card class which is going to be on my blog 16 cards and that comes with the card stock pre-cut card stock plus some goodies a goodie bag by the way the goodie bag up here is like $20 the goodie bag down here is bigger but I'm not 100% sure at how much it was valued at so I'm not going to say <laughs> so anyway um, all of this stuff will be on my blog um, don't forget to take advantage of these awesome deals um, and of course whenever you shop through me it helps me continue to bring these awesome videos to you each week so I'd really appreciate your business I have a great VIP rewards program that I'd love to invite you to be a part of as well so Thank you guys all so much for stamping with me today. I will get this up on my blog by Wednesday for you so you can see all those projects once more. And thank you again for being here. I will see you again next week or on my blog uh, yet this week. Bye, guys.